welcome back to my channel my name is Isoa and welcome to the gallery of my life <laughs> this is Isoa gallery and thank you so much for coming and for listening to me and watching this video today I'm going to talk about my wigs and when I say talk about it, just show you all the wigs I have or most of the wigs I have and I'm just trying to do like a system here all my wigs are in a box I'm actually having this nice short one here and lately I've been doing hairbands on this and it's so cute right <laughs> so basically I'm going to show you the wigs I've been using wigs for a number of years now initially years back in like the 2000s I wasn't too comfortable with wigs and then out of convenience I was like let me try these wigs let me try these wigs and my friend told me about um, divatress.com and I think she gave me a few other websites this was like years back and at some point i started getting like more wigs and getting used to all the different styles and everything i'm still not into the whole like getting really expensive wigs and closures and all i just get normal wigs and i just make sure it just fits my face and thankfully it does <laughs> and also but most of the wigs i have here are from different divatress.com and they're not sponsored or anything. It'd be nice for Diva Tress to sponsor me because everything is from Diva Tress and a lot of people have referred Diva Tress to a lot of people as well. So I'm going to show you the wigs and I'm going to show you the ones that I don't want to use anymore. There are a few braids wigs that I got from my cousin. That's from Nigeria. So that's different from Diva Tress. And I basically want to show you the wigs. Hopefully try them on if I can and then figure out a way to store them. I got this particular um I got these these are like pouches or something like that I don't even know how many I can't remember how many I got from these um what's the count I'm not really sure but I'll put it on the screen and I got it from Amazon so the link is below but this is how it looks and I feel like I can just put one or two in here with the pictures of the wigs and store it this way because I've been checking online on how to store wigs there are a number of ways you can store wigs you can hang them you can put them on the mannequin and all of that but I just didn't want to do that because there's no space here and I just didn't want to see too many different mannequin heads all over me stuff like that so that's why right now I have this box which I'll show you and I just want to be able to stack all the wigs vertically figure out a way to kind of like arrange them properly after decluttering and everything and then go from there so that's what this video is about but before I start is it possible to please subscribe to my channel like this video comment and share right now I'm doing videos on a number of different things apart from photography which is my passion art um, travel I've decided to add other things to my channel and now this is like a lifestyle channel I talked about this in my early video this year and lifestyle involves like I mean interior just different things now that I've moved to this new house I've been doing a lot of house updates of things I'll be getting for the house and beauty so that's what this is about <laughs> I did a video on one of the bags I got so it's just something that I'm enjoying now and I hope you just come along with me in this journey and subscribe to my channel like the videos comment I can always really reply your comments and just yeah enjoy this time with me um, for years to come basically so yeah so let's start figuring this out it just feels a little intimidating but we will figure it out so let me show you the wigs and then i may try some on i have cornrows underneath this so don't be surprised if i remove this and you see cornrows and then i put something else so let's start <laughs> so the first wig is this wig and most of the wigs that i have i never throw away like the packs that came with them and i just leave the, the pictures with them so the way i'm going to do it now is I'll, I'll remove this and then transfer it into the new pouches i got form from um amazon and then put the pictures just to remember how they look so let's see Ooh, this is one of my long ones i think did i wear this for my i wore this for my party yeah my 40th birthday party so let's see Let's see how I look. Hi. <laughs> Let's see. It's going to be a rough look. Like I said, I don't do like closures. I don't do like the big things. I just look for something that will fit my face. Style it really well. I mean, I have like um, straighteners and curlers and stuff like that at home. And I just style it well. Oh, wow. This is nice, right? Hi. <laughs> I've always loved these like for a faucet type wigs it just really brings my face out and everything so 
yeah so this is the first one and normally i wash my wigs with conditioner sometimes i don't even do shampoo but for the most part it's conditioner and i just wash my wigs and then um, air dry them i don't use air dry um, the hair dryers or anything like that and then i just leave them in the bathroom to air dry comb them out i don't put oils on any of my wigs that's another thing i don't do, put any oils just comb it out air, air dry the wigs and i'm good to go so let me as i'm doing this i'm going to be combing uh, brushing these wigs just to make them look nice and clean because everything here has been washed and cleaned and all and i've brushed so i'm just going to do a quick one and then put them in the bags as well okay i'm back so i have this demon brush here and i just brush 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 the wigs really really simple really really easy just to detangle and just have it nice and smooth and then what i do is just put this together like this just like that i don't do anything else just do this and let's see if it will take the pouch will take the wait yeah so it looks good it looks good it's hard to do it while you're actually filming this and then i leave the picture here so i'm not sure how transparent well actually it's not bad so look at that it is transparent you see that so i put it here and close it like this so that's one pouch one wig let me see let me try and make sure the hairs do not cross the zippers <laughs> I think this will work. Okay, let's try the second one. And hopefully I can find all the pictures. There's so many wigs here. Yeah, I have so many of them here. Some without pictures, some with pictures. So I try to kind of like keep all my photo, the photos of the wigs in their bags when I buy them. You know. So some of them may have it, some of them may not. This is like a curly wig that I don't think I kept a photo of this, and I've been trying to do Ziploc bags as well. So you 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 get you get you get them. Is what I'm saying, and then this too. So, but this is a black version of this particular bang and stuff like that. So basically, this is how my wigs are, and this is where I put them. So this one there are two of these in here these are my ponytails so this is the afro ponytail so that's this um and then this one is the long ponytail so i'm gonna put these two in here just to know that okay yeah they they serve the same purpose but they are the, the different types and the bag is big enough for them so yeah so that's that let's keep going 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 it looks like a, it looks like i'm gonna actually like throw away a number of wigs or give out a number of wigs this was a wig that was given to me by my friend from my birthday my 40th birthday so this was one of my gifts it's so soft it's really really soft so it didn't come with a picture or anything she just had it in this in this packet and she said 18 inches bw style 13 by 4 lace front wig i think she just knows she knows that i like wearing wigs and also she got me this i've worn it a number of times but i wear them with like my hair bands and not just those structured hair bands i just wear them with like maybe a scarf or something just to cover it but it's so soft so i'm going to put this in there as well and i will put the paper here just to remember that it's from her and um 
yeah put it in the pouch as well but yeah looking at the floor now it looks like there are many wigs that i'm going to i don't know whether to give out or sell or throw away i'm not sure but yeah there are some wigs that i've just not worn in ages or oh, they don't really like attract me anymore so this is another one this is lace front wig it's like a wavy style so let me try that let's try this i mean obviously these wigs are not like most some of them are synthetic some of them are human but not like oh wow i'm buying a pair a, a, a wig for five hundred dollars three hundred dollars i don't do that like I, if you go to the trust you understand they just pick whatever you can there are different categories there yeah so this is like a center pack part ouch 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 center part and yeah this is how it looks and then some lace fronts i've noticed that obviously depending on what you buy from diva Tress, some lace fronts are really like hard some are like the soft ones so it all depends on what you get and that would depend on how much they are so yeah i used to wear a lot of wigs to the office like when before the pandemic so that's why i had this i mean this is just easy for work as well even the straight the straight short ones i have two straight long ones i don't know where they are i mean they're hiding somewhere but i'll show you but you've seen me on those as well so let me put this in one of the pouches as well we are getting close we are getting there i've been wanting to do this for a while and hopefully this is a good storage system for me now like the way i'm keeping the wigs Hopefully this will last and I won't be like, huh, oh, maybe I should store it in a different way. Oh yeah, this is one of the straight ones, yeah. I think I either threw away another straight one, but this is the only straight long one I have right now. And this is the one that I use as ponytails <laughs> or I, 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 I braid both ends, like, yeah, stuff like that. So I kind of like use it as straight as a normal long straight like it's pretty long long straight hair or as a ponytail you will see it's one of my videos but i've always loved this wig i have to get another one because this one is getting loose and old a bit but it's so easy look at that <laughs> to me it's just so easy like i don't do the whole spraying of this and blah, blah. i like no i just i've found a way to make it easy for me and and funny enough it stays like sometimes i mean when there's when it's windy and i'm like my hair blah, 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 but where am i going like seriously it stays <laughs> so that's one that's that for the straight one where is the picture yeah let me show you the picture like it's really long this is a uh, color one uh how many inches does it say it here it doesn't say it here but look at how she look at how she looks yeah it's really long <laughs> so, so this was like initially when braids wigs started and i was like oh gosh i don't want to do braids and the idea of doing braids i don't like it blah blah, blah. so i decided to search on amazon i know and it was supposed to be like box braids type thingy but i just didn't like the way i mean i still have all the nets that come with these wigs i just didn't like the way it looked i tried and tried to like cut the cut the i don't know it just it just doesn't have that it's so bulky in this area so i just didn't know how to style this area i was like look i can't do this it's too bulky it's too but the braids itself is nice and soft but i don't know what happened with this area it's just weird i mean looking at it now it's not that bad though but no it's not something i want to manage so i've been keeping it and i was like okay let me i keep saying i was like because <laughs> i'm used to saying that but i've been keeping it and now I, I i was thinking hmm let me just see if i can just keep it and use it later if it kind of like goes down by itself or whatever but it's not it's so puffy and stuff like that so i don't really like this i don't know i'm just trying to figure out how to kind of like give wigs out because these are still new like i've not i literally haven't worn this outside like I haven't. I even tried seeing if I could put like a, a scarf on it, and I just wasn't comfortable. So I haven't worn these some of these wigs. Please let me know in the comments 
how you give wigs out to people because I don't know I'm just like okay should I sell it on my Poshmark or should I throw it away or should I I mean I don't want to throw these wigs away so let me know what you think about like what to do with wigs that you don't want to use anymore but that's still decent and stuff like that so I'm not gonna put it in a pouch or anything I'm just gonna leave it as, as a pile of stuff that I may sell or give out or I don't know let me show you all my braids wigs that my cousin got for me from Nigeria I mean I I got I paid for it but she helped me get them from Nigeria so let's see there's one that I've been using lately I think it's that one so there are three of them there are three styles one is so there's this style that's the long black one and then there's this style that has like the curls at, on, at the bottom and then there's one more style which is I put it inside this this bag is a plug bag so I'm trying to really really clean up my wigs so this is one that I've actually been wearing more often so it's not as long as this one so if we do this you see that the other one is longer yeah so I've been wearing this more than the others but let me show you how it looks it's, it's just a normal braids wig so and I've actually rocked it I went I wore it to the zoo with my, my kids like years back so it, it does stay well and I'm comfortable with it and stuff like that but this is how it looks we put it on and then there's like a pattern here let's see I just have to find it on the mirror <laughs> there's a pattern of like where the braids would start and end and stuff like that but let me just show you how it looks like without showing you this area so you see that so when you when I wear this I just it feels like I actually I actually have braids on my hair oh I've always liked this one this is another straight wig natural yaki 24 inches and it's also kind of like it's got like highlights and stuff it's actually similar to the other one that is the brown color but I've always loved it I've always love this wig this is one of my first straight wigs and i always just like the way i look in it now it's time to brush 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 and let me show you and there was a time i cut parts of the layers because it was too full yeah so if i really really brush it well to just have this really nice straight look you see that i have always liked this yaki natural yaki wig i know see that <laughs> yeah so this is a one i've always i always used to rock ouch i've not been rocking it lately because i mean at home i, I don't want to wear wigs this is how i am at home i'm just like yeah so anyways so let me finish up on this let me see if there's anything else okay there, there's this other wig i bought this wig some time some time ago i just i just didn't like it i think i wore it like a couple of times to work so that's another one i'll probably put in my pile of giveaway and then well this is another straight long one that i said i didn't like it's similar to the long the very long straight one but this one has a funny lace front no and then what else did i have here this one was the weirdest ever like look at this <laughs> I, what, what made me buy this like seriously and when i got it i just had I kept like removing the layers because it was too full, too bushy. I was like, no, no. So I never wore this. Like, yeah. But yeah, so I have another pair of bangs. So this was the first pair of, I said pair of bangs. <laughs> this was the first wig with bangs that I got before getting the other one. But I've always preferred that other one to this one. It's not the same color. It's the same. It's 1B. It's not this color, but this is how it looks. It's a little longer than the other one. And then... And then there's one more that I got. So I got this other wig, this curly wig. I mean, I like curly wigs, but I it didn't I didn't see it didn't come with like a picture. I got this from a salon actually. I, when I go do my hair, and the lady just sells wigs in her salon. So I just got this one that was like one of those like beauty world type salons or whatever. So it's not bad as well. It has a, it's a curly style as well, but it, it's got a little bit of a straighter. Um, look here and then everywhere else is curly so sometimes i like wearing this in the summer as well <laughs> okay so let me arrange all of this this place looks like a mess
So as you can see, it looks good, right? At least everything is now packaged well and put inside this box. And once I just want to look for something, I'll just see this and be like, oh yeah, this is my wig. And it, this can also be used to travel as well. Just thinking about it, like if I travel and I want to take my wigs with me, I can just put like three or four in one pouch and that's it. Yeah, so it's not bad at all. I still have a number of pouches here for more wigs. And I'm just going to leave this box somewhere in my, in my closet for now. And figure out how how to save it up but at least i have gone through everything and they're all clean and neat now and everything so the other wigs i'll put it somewhere in the basement where i have like all my poshmark stuff and then um i'm gonna throw away all the the, the other um rubber bags that came initially with the wigs and all so i think i'm good with this i'm glad that i did this at least it's gotten me to a place where i know that oh yeah i have my wigs here and they're all organized <laughs> and then i'll figure out where to actually really really put them later on as i continue working with this my my closet because yeah this closet is still in work in progress i'm just glad i have this area to just a few things here so i'm grateful to god for that but yeah thank you so much <laughs> for coming with me please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment and share and hopefully this helped you if you're a wig wearer to figure out how to um store your wigs i've tried different ways and i think i'm just going to see how this is now because i've done ziploc bags i've done boxes i've done mannequin thingies i've done like the there's another type that is, looks like a mannequin, but it's more like skeletal. I've, I've tried things, but for now, I think this will work. And I'm also trying to kind of like um, lower like the, the number of wigs I'm, I use. So basically filtering out the ones that I know that are not for me anymore and the ones that are good. But I know that I will go back to divertress.com or wherever and look for wigs that's <laughs> i would like because i i mean i just i just like wearing wigs thank you so much for coming with me and just watching me um remember always remember to let your cup run it over bye